a six week number one is something that is pretty unheard of this day and age. And I realized the weight of that and how cool that is. It's crazy how one song can change everything. Hey, I'm Dustin Lynch. I'm Mackenzie Porter. And this is the hit story of our song, Thinking About You. Thinking About You is about reconnecting with a long lost or a newly lost relationship. We were on the Thomas Rhett tour, Very Hot Summer tour. We did the demo on the bus, so sound quality is not ideal out there with generators and running and whoever the opening act is on stage playing in the background. We knew we, we wanted to do a duet and we needed a second verse. So it was just the first verse, then a blank second verse, and then all the choruses. So this is the craziest story how I landed on this song. Mackenzie got involved because I was looking for someone that could do this song, release the song to country radio during a certain window of time. And he put out kind of a, basically like a blind call to different labels in town, like send in a demo of it. And then I had my team remove all the names from that, those submissions. So they were just numbered versions. We had a folder of seven or so. It's a blind date. It's like an episode of, of The Voice. I just wanted to, to pick based on who performed it the best. So I laid the vocal down, sent it, and then like crickets did not hear anything, and I'm like, oh crap. I gravitated instantly towards what ended up being Mackenzie's version. It gave me chills, I like teared up when she hit the chorus. And I knew right away, man, if I'm feeling this emotion, we're onto something. Probably three weeks go by and Dustin follows me on Instagram. I noticed like right away and screenshotted it and sent it to my whole team. I'm like, I'm gonna be on the new song. He followed me and they're like, no, that's not what that means. Just like calm down, crazy girl. I got the stalker on social media and- A few days later, he called my phone and I didn't have his number. So I just sent him to voicemail. And um, it was like a telemarketer or something. And he left me a voicemail, which I still have, um, like saved it just, just in case like the song did something really cool. Can you play the voicemail? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can. Uh, do you want to grab my phone? Mackenzie, it's Dustin Lynch, and I am so freaking pumped and excited that uh, you got to sing a song and sound so daggum good. Thank you so much for taking a chance on uh, Think About You and agreeing to give it a shot. Um, can't wait to meet you. Can't wait to thank you. Give you a hug. And also can't wait to create some awesome content. Um, I just have a really good feeling about this song. So love you. Uh, you got my number now. And give me a call anytime. Text me. Whatever. I'm just at the house. I'll eat some dinner. Bye. Thankfully, she said yes. I want to be a part of this. One of the reasons I wanted to be in the studio when Mackenzie recorded her part, which is the first day we met in person, was when she was doing her vocals. I just wanted to make sure she could pull it off live because my hope was that this song would would take off like it has and we get to perform it on TV shows. I kind of knew I was still like auditioning obviously if if I went in there and wasn't able to like sing it live that it probably wasn't going to work out so I was a little bit nervous. In the studio it's a pretty like vulnerable place the first day you meet somebody and it was so sweet because he showed up like full in my merch but it was like the perfect icebreaker for him to show up wearing like my face on his shirt. She just effortlessly rock this thing. I was texting my producer, he was there with me across the room, I was like, boom. Like, she's awesome, this is gonna be great. It was just magical, it was one of those moments where you can't plan it. Um, we try to do it all the time, and, and we got lucky that time. Well, I, I would say my favorite lyrics are in the chorus, just because it is about people in my life and places where I still do life. I was just thinking about that weekend My favorite part is like right before my verse where I'm like, mm, yeah. I just always kind of like feel sassy when I do it. Hey, I just gotta say, I heard your song the other day. So Dustin says when we shot the video that he was intimidated. And the reason why I think is obviously I'm an actress. I grew up like on film set, so I feel very, very comfortable there. I'm just a songwriter and a singer and, and I love to play live music. So whenever I get in front of a camera um, on music video set, it's foreign to me. Our director, Justin, had Mackenzie shoot her part first. She was actually up there for hours um, doing her thing and I'm sitting there behind the camera going, man, he's gonna be really disappointed when I get up there. We had a funny moment where our director was asking me to brush some hair out of her face. We're just friends, but we're having to act like we're in this daydream of, of a love scene, but 
Get her to talk about that. She can tell it better than I can. Oh my. We do a scene in a car, and I have like a tight, like Ariana Grande ponytail. I don't think the director was looking at me, so he's like, grab her hair and like put it behind her ears. And I have literally one strand of hair. And I burst out laughing, like dying, because he did it like so like sexy too. It didn't make the video. Mackenzie Porter is the real deal. I've, I've, I've got to know Mackenzie, you know, because we weren't touring um, when all this was going down. So we did a lot of life together out on the, on the water here in Nashville. We did like boat days and he met all my friends and my husband and it was just like, we became really good friends. In hindsight, now it's like, man, I want to do this more because Mackenzie and I have got to go on this ride together and experience so many wonderful things together. And it's fun just to have somebody to text back and forth with as the milestones happen the ups and downs of emotions of a single's life and shooting the video like just being on set with someone else it makes it a lot more fun it was just a perfect a perfect time for me i think it turned out really well